Welcome to another Tech Tuesday at FiTech. Today I'm going to cover distributors, what you need to know when you're setting up your system, which distributor is compatible with which system, and make sure you get everything set up correctly so that your system runs properly right away. As you can see, I've got a bunch of distributors laid out here. I'm going to cover exactly what you need to know about each of these distributor types and make sure you understand what you need to know, how to connect it, which ones work with which systems, and what sort of gotchas you might find when you're trying to set it up. First off is the most common distributor. It's an HEI. HEIs have been adapted to a bunch of different engines. It's most common in small and big block Chevrolets. These are not computer controlled. These do not do ignition timing control. You can connect to the tack signal and even the key signal from this distributor. And that's the simplest way to set up systems from the 3003, 3005, the, the basic street systems. You can even use it on the power adder systems, but you won't be controlling ignition timing with an HEI. If you're going to do ignition timing control on a throttle body, an ultra ram, six pack, things like that, you will need a two wire distributor. They have this little two wire Molex connector built into the harness. It should plug directly in. When you're doing ignition timing control, you do need to have the distributor locked out. That does not mean just take the vacuum advance off. It means take the cap off. You can see this one has had all the weights and stuff removed. The process for doing that is in another video of ours, but it's basically just, you know, get the engine on close to TDC number one, drop this in so that it's pointing towards number one, move the base so that it's grabbing one of the teeth a distributor that we are not compatible with with most systems is the computer controlled HEI. This has an HEI module in it and uh, it has an external coil. There are versions of in cap coils that uh, are also computer controlled. They have like a seven pin connector, it's or to this uh, six pin connector. Um, these are compatible with the TPI system only. The TPI system will have the correct switch voltage in here that will enable computer control on it. It gives it the correct five volt signal and uh, the module itself drives the ignition coil to make the sparks. One catch on that is to make sure when you're connecting to the ignition coil with this two wire connector that that ignition coil is fed the same key signal that you're feeding into the EFI system. One thing to make sure you don't do on a TPI system is with the external coil on these HEIs they're connected to this two wire connector and also should be connected to the ignition switch, the same ignition switch signal that you use to trigger the EFI system. If you happen to have the EFI turned on and not connecting that ignition coil to power and through here, this module will generate false triggers. It'll tell the EFI to, to try to inject and everything by these false triggers. So make sure that the ignition coil is connected to the key switch, the same key switch that is connected to REFI. I know it's a lot of information for distributors, uh, but the, the key points are HEIs. We don't do time and control with the regular four pins. The tack signal there is a good tack signal typically. We can do time and control, but you have to lock them out. If you don't lock them out, you still can run them, but you would have to have a CDI box. The CDI box would still have the timing from the mechanical and vacuum advance. You set it up as a standard distributor. If you're doing timing control, you do need to lock out the, the rotor and take out the mechanical and disable the vacuum advance. You still need to set the timing. There's a mode in our system to give you a reference point. Use a timing light. You know, the computer doesn't know where it is until you put the distributor correctly relative to the engine. Phaseable rotors help with uh, timing control because we're advancing between rotors. You can move that to help avoid arcing under the cap and that'll improve the chances of the spark going to the right cylinder. So there you have it. I know it's a lot of stuff to cover for a distributor, but it's important. Hope you find the right system in, in this video for you. If you have any questions or comments, look at your instructions. They actually cover a lot of it. You can call our tech support or our salespeople. They will be able to answer most of your questions. And uh, if you want to join us again on another Tech Tuesday, I'd be glad to see you.